fellow gamers, it's your boy Zero Wink, and I'm back with another kick shot angle discussion. And today I want to talk about Quantum Break and possibly all the exclusives Xbox has going to PC. For me, this really doesn't affect me. I believe if you game on consoles, you're going to buy it on consoles, and if you game on PC, you're going to buy it on PC. However, there are some things that this may affect. This may be a good or a bad thing. Now, first of all, I'd like to say that the difference between PlayStation and Xbox right now are vast. You have one company that is trying to distance themselves and make themselves separate from the PC, kind of do their own thing, and that's PlayStation. And then you have Xbox who kind of wants to intertwine their whole ecosystem with PC gaming. So that's two different personalities that are going in two different directions. Now, neither one of these directions are bad. You just have two different mindsets. You have one that wants to stay kind of consoles and do their own thing, and you have another one that is trying to combine PC and Xbox. There are pros and cons to this mindset. First, let's talk about the communities. The communities hate each other. And actually, I wouldn't say hate each other. That's a strong word. I shouldn't use hate. But the two communities don't get along. Two different mindsets. Just like PlayStation gaming mindset is different from Xbox gaming mindset. And that's what you have to take into account too. Nintendo is a different mindset altogether than both Xbox and PlayStation. So you have a lot of different gamers with a lot of different mindsets in terms of how they game. And I realize a lot of people go, well, it's just gaming. Yeah, it's just gaming, but there's still a mindset of how you game. Me personally, I like a single player experience. I like a long drawn out single player experience. I like good storylines. I like a lot of different things that PlayStation provides. So PlayStation is my preferred place to play. With a lot of Xbox guys, they prefer the multiplayer experience and the multiplayer aspects of things, so they prefer the Xbox side of things. I'll jump into multiplayer and I'll play multiplayer if I get the inkling to do so. I like multiplayer in games like Yu-Gi-Oh! I like multiplayer in games like Call of Duty. I like multiplayer in a lot of different things. But I don't need it to enjoy my gaming experience, whereas an Xbox player seem to need it a little more. From my experience, what I've seen around the communities, PlayStation is more of a single player experience, whereas in Xbox is more of a multiplayer experience. PC gamers and PlayStation gamers have always been really similar in terms of their mindset. They like a wide variety of games. Now, you can say that console gamers on PlayStation don't like a wide variety of games based on the top 10, but they do. The PlayStation gamer generally likes a wide variety of games. And Xbox gamers are more of your multiplayer, first-person shooter, third-person action type gamers. Fast-paced type games. So, it's all different mindsets colliding over this whole situation. I just see two companies that are going in two different directions. Sony has gotten rid of its Sony Online Entertainment. You know what I'm saying? So Sony is kind of trying to do its own thing. They're also getting a lot of the PC games, like the smaller PC indie titles, and some of the bigger PC games too, like Warframe and Blacklight Retribution, H1Z1's coming to the systems. So you really have to look at, this is the first time that these systems have really shared this much content with each other. Back in the day, it was a few titles here and there, but it was never this. And that's why you're having the issues that you have now. That's the thing. These are all different mindsets and they're colliding. PlayStation has always had its own ecosystem with its games. Even if you look at Resistance or you look at the games that they have, Ratchet and Clank and Jack and Daxter and even Crash Bandicoot when it was with Naughty Dog and all this other stuff, they have their own identity on the PlayStation and the Nintendo. Now, Microsoft has always been synonymous with the PC, which is why I don't see this as too much of a problem because Microsoft started on PC. In fact, the only reason they were putting Windows in consoles was because it was easier to get the consoles in households. Believe it or not, but Windows was on Xbox to get Windows devices in everyone's household. That was the original purpose of the Xbox, was to get Windows in everybody's household. Because if you remember back when PC gaming was not good, you know how difficult it was and how much of a chore it was to PC game. And now Windows is in everybody's household. Do you see what I'm saying? If you look at interviews with Bill Gates and the creators of the original OG Xbox, they'll tell you that. The original purpose for the Xbox was to get Windows in every household, using the console to push Windows. And now you're seeing a shift back to PC, which makes sense now that everybody has Windows devices in their house. Whether it be Surfaces or Xbox or PC, 
I think PlayStation and Nintendo are straight console companies. They prefer to be considered that. They prefer to be like, you know what? PlayStation is a console. Nintendo is a console. We're fine with being consoles. Microsoft is a little different. I think Microsoft is a little more ambitious in terms of I want to be intertwined with the PC, but I also believe that can work against them because of the different fan bases colliding and the fact that PC guys and Xbox guys go back and forth all the time. You look at Rainbow Six Siege, the mindset is completely different on PC than it is on Xbox or on any console. I believe that this is a good move for Microsoft. They're gonna get their money back. And you really have to look at it that way. This is Microsoft doing what it believes it needs to do. And I believe we have to look at it as a wait and see. It may be good, it may affect Microsoft sales, but I'm not gonna jump on the bandwagon and say that it absolutely positively will. I believe this brings up an even bigger issue within the gaming community. You have people who are just jumping on it to jump on it. Oh, they have no exclusives now. And for me, personally, I look at it this way. How do you want to game? How do you want your gaming experience to play out? What is your preference? What type of games do you like? Do you like the community on PlayStation? Do you like the community on Xbox? Do you like the community on PC? What do you like as a gamer? We need to get out of this mindset of telling people what to do with their gaming experience because at the end of the day, it's not our job to tell people what to do. It's our job to provide the information and let people decide for themselves what they want to do with that. You see what I'm saying? Provide the information, let them make their own decisions. If you are a gamer, it's your choice how you want to game. And I believe that's lost on this community. They believe they can tell people what to do. They believe they know better. I've never told a gamer what to do, at least I don't think I have. If I have, please bring it up to me and I will apologize for that because I don't believe in telling people how they should enjoy their hobby. This is gaming. And I believe console guys are going to buy it on console, and I believe PC guys are going to buy it on PC. That's just the way that it is. I do believe it might affect sales in terms of PC guys going over to the Xbox, but that remains to be seen. I can't say that for certain. You have all these gamers on YouTube that speculate, oh, this is going to be terrible, or this is going to be good, or this is going to be... And I could speculate all day. But what I am telling you is Microsoft is doing what they believe they have to do. And I believe you have... PlayStation, which is going one route, and Microsoft, which is going another. And neither one are bad. So anyway, guys, that's my take on it. I don't believe this is a terrible thing. I don't believe, even if all the exclusives go to PC, I don't believe it's an absolutely terrible thing. It can be, but that doesn't mean that it will be. It does have the possibility to fail. Just like the last time Microsoft tried to get in PC gaming. That's a little bit of a cautionary. But other than that, I see Microsoft doing what they believe they have to do. And that's it. You know what I'm saying? I believe that if you want a game on Xbox, game on Xbox. If you want a game on PlayStation 4, game on PlayStation 4. If you want a game on PC, then game on PC. And all of us as a community together need each other. We enjoy the social, we enjoy talking about games and everything else like that. So I'm gonna say this guys, keep gaming. Don't get too caught up in the politics. Don't get too caught up in listening to all these YouTubers tell you what to do. And I don't see this as too much of a bad thing. This has been Zero, keep gaming gamers. And I will see all of you guys and gals next time.